say we wanted to look at the equation y equals x squared. So this is a quadratic. It's an equation, and there's two variables here. A little later on we'll look at an inequality, but let's just start with an equation. So I have an equation y equals x squared. If I was to make a table of values for this, before I sketch the graph, I could do negative 2, and negative 2 times negative 2 would be 4 for y. And if I put negative 1 in for x, negative 1 squared is positive 1. If I put 0 in for x, 0 times 0 is 0. If I put 1 in for x, 1 squared is 1. And if I put 2 in for x, 2 squared is 4. And so I could plot these points, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4. And so my graph would look something like this. So this would be a sketch of y equals x squared. Well, let's say now, instead of an equation, a quadratic equation in two variables, let's make this a quadratic inequality in two variables. So it's an inequality now because I have less than or equal to. So this means on the graph I can include all of the points that are on the parabola, just like I did here. I picked some of them here and then connected the dots and made my graph. But now I also want to have all the y values that are less than or equal to x squared. So just like we did with the linear equality when we were graphing uh, an equation of a line, but we made it an inequality, what we're going to do is we're going to test a point that's not on our parabola. So we have all the points already that lie on the parabola, all the ones where y equals x squared. Let's just try a point that's not on the line. Let's pick, let's just pick this one right here. We'll pick this dot here. We can't pick 0, 0 because it's a point that's on our curve. So we'll pick this one which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's the point 0, 5. And let's, 0 is the x value, 5 is the y value. And let's substitute this into our inequality. So I have 5 for y is less than or equal to 0 squared, because x is 0. And of course, 0 squared is 0. So the question is, is 5 less than or equal to 0? No. So I won't be shading these points. These are the points where it's not less than or equal to x. The region that I would need to shade would be all of these points outside of the parabola. And so a graphical representation of the quadratic inequality, y is less than or equal to x squared, would be a solid line on the parabola. And by testing a point, we saw that it would be, all the points would, that would work would be on the points on the outside of the parabola. So let's look at another example. Here we're going to graph and show the solutions to all of the y values that are more than, greater than, negative 2 x minus 1 squared plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to graph this equation. So we're going to graph y equals negative 2 x minus 1 squared plus 2. Well, we see here that the vertex would be 1 comma 2, so right 1 up 2. So I'm going to go right 1 up 2 and put a vertex there. There we go. And then I have the graph y equals negative 2x squared that I'm going to draw from this point right here. So whatever your method is for drawing the parabola, y equals negative 2x minus 1 squared plus 2, you can do a table of values, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to plot the vertex, and I know it's going to be congruent to the graph y equals negative 2x squared. So if I make x1, y is going to be negative 2, and it's symmetrical because it's a parabola. And I, when I make x2, this is going to be negative 4. That's uh, right, negative 8. Dot, dot. So here's some points that would be on the equation y equals negative 2 x minus 1 squared plus 2. But because it's not y greater than or equal to, I can't include the points that would lie on the parabola. So I'm going to draw this as a dashed line. OK. 
Okay, so it looks something like this. And unfortunately for me, I can't test the point zero zero again because it's it would be right on the line of the parabola here. So I'm going to pick this one. It's the point zero two. So that was that point right there, and I'm going to substitute that into my inequality. So zero, sorry, two for y. This is x. This is y. Two is greater than negative two. Zero minus one squared plus two. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1. So I get is 2 greater than or equal to 0? And the answer is yes it is. So this one was true so I will be shading all of the points that are outside of my parabola. So because it was just greater than and not because it was just greater than and not equal to, we can't include the points on the parabola. So I'll show that as a dashed line. And then when I tested my point, 0, 2, I found that 2 was greater than 0. So this point worked. And therefore I will shade the points on uh, outside of the parabola. We'll look at one more example. Let's say we got y greater than x squared minus 4x minus 12. So our first step will be to graph the parabola, the equation of the parabola. y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. And then I'm going to factor this one. Two numbers that multiply to minus 12 and add to 4, add to negative 4 are negative 6 and 2. So I actually will know that my roots are going to be 6 and minus 2. So I'm going to put a dot here at minus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a dot here at 6. And then I'm going to do a couple other points here too. Um, this would be in the middle here. So I have a root at, at 6 and a root of minus 2. So right in the middle I have a root of 2. That'll be my minimum. So when I put 2 in here, basically what I'm doing is just a table of values here. So when x is 2, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. So when x is 2, let's make these each of these by 2. So I can stick a point here. And um, yeah, we got zero, so we'll just do a rough sketch here. Okay, so I would have a parabola that looks like that. Whoops, I do this all the time. Then I check back and see it should have just been greater than. So I shouldn't have solid lines, these should be dashed lines. And these are worth one. Okay, so there's a sketch of the graph y equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. I want to know where the y value is greater than this. So I have my dashed line, meaning I can't include those points. And I'm going to test a point. Here I can finally choose 0, 0, because this is a graph that's not on the line. And when I put 0 in for y, I get 0. And when I put 0 in for x, that's 0, that's 0, I get minus 12. So is 0 bigger than minus 12? Yes. 0 is a larger number than minus 12. So I will shade the area, in this case, in between, uh, inside the parabola. Now we can also draw the graph or draw this inequality with the with the graphing calculator. So if I go to graph, graph this function, see right now it says y equals, I can change the type and then these things come up but if I go to the right I can have y greater than, y less than, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. So I'm going to graph this same one here, so f1. 
Now notice how the graph function has changed to y is greater than. And so now I'll enter my x squared minus 4x minus 12. Enter. And I'll just change that view window. Um, so I went out here to 6. Let's go from, say, minus 3 to 7. Just went off to the side here. No, don't go full screen. Thank you. Minus 3, 2, 7. Go up by 1. We will go from minus 17 up to 6. Go up by 2. So now when I draw it, notice how, see, it's got a little dashed line here now because it knows that it can't include the equal sign. And let's see if it does its shading correctly. There we go. So it's drawn a picture of the parabola, and it's shaded it, or used dots or whatever, to indicate that this was a, uh, all of the solutions, y is greater than x squared minus 4x minus 12. So it has the dashed lines for the parabola, and it has the shaded area uh, inside. So let's review then how we would solve a quadratic inequality in two variables. So the first thing we would do is we would draw the corresponding equation. So this was step one here. The inequality was, was this, but we drew or graphed the corresponding equation. So this was sort of all of step one. Draw the graph. Just remember that when you're drawing the graph, you use a dotted line for less than or greater than and you do a solid line if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Then the second thing to do would be to test a point that's not on the curve. So we tested the point zero, zero. If that point works in the original inequality up here, then we would shade that area. So that's what we did. Whoop. But if the point didn't work, then we would know that all the other points on the other side of the curve must be the region that works. So this is how we would show graphically how we've solved a quadratic inequality in two variables.